second serve coming up from Martina Navratilova, who leads 4-3 in the first set of this women's semifinal. Again, Martina just not playing as cleanly as she's played in the rounds up to now. And Zena's just thinking at this point, make her shake. the subway and walk making their way over to the stadium to watch this women's semifinal. All the newspapers said you want to take the train out the subway don't be driving if you can help it because with the Mets in town it's congested around here. Tremendous point from Garrison here to find this lob. But did you see what Martina was doing? She was closing because Mar uh, Zena has not forced her away from that net with some lobs like that. It's 15:30. A great idea for Zena to do against Martina because now Martina has to worry about the lob, can't close the net as she has been. And another double. Isn't this something? That's six. This is this is a rematch of last year at this point. And this is nerves. Sure it is. That was nerves sure right there. This there is. are first serve percentages. Again, Martina was playing well enough, I think, to have commanded this match, but now she can't shake Luzina. A miss volley, yeah. a forehand. That levels things at four. And right now Martina's four. playing herself. And it's dead even. Well, I'm not so sure. I mean, if she's uh, has known to to get nervous and and her game falls apart. The forehand volley is shaky at times. Big opportunity for Zena to get out in front. And an excellent way to take advantage of the opportunity. Fifteen love. That's three aces for Zena. Fifteen love. a look at Zena's service motion. Much more natural looking serve than it once was. She did pull that racket out in the back a little longer than you might suggest, but she's serving much, much better. Beautiful. Lovely sliced lob over Zena's. This just floated right past Zena's reach. Zena's getting a little over 60% of her serves in, first serves. It's aggressive toss Zena has on that first serve, too. It leads her into the court. And now we get a test of Garrison's nerves. <clears throat> Capriati up a set and a break in the juniors. That's Gen Jennifer Capriati, who's 13 years of age, the, the French junior champion, an absolute phenom, a marvelous, marvelous prospect. Whoa! Talked to her father down at Greenleaf where they play and said, you must be proud of your daughter for her accomplishments. He said, she's a nice girl. That's what really makes me proud.
ancient times, astronomers have defined an eclipse as the passage of a celestial body between the observer and the sun. Today, an eclipse is the passage of a celestial body with the observer in it. For personal exhilaration, an eclipse can eclipse an eclipse. So I'm running late. I had to call Phoenix, so I'm using this other long-distance company. I dial the wrong number. I got this guy in Phoenix. What? Is this Phoenix? No, you reached Fiji. I dial again. Fiji again. What are you kidding? So I called the operator for credit. She said I'd have to talk to customer billing. I said, AT&T operators gave me instant credit. She said, you are not dealing with AT&T. Well, I am now. People who thought they could do better than AT&T are coming back for the real value. Aren't you glad you never left? 200 years ago, the only way to see Sydney Harbor was from the deck of a prison ship. Today, you can relax in the back of a water taxi as you cruise to Watson's Bay and Doyle's on the beach, where you can feast on everything from Sydney rock oysters to Tasmanian trout. But if you go, come early and bring your Visa Gold card. Because at Doyle's, they don't run their water taxi all night, and they don't take American Express. Visa Gold, it's everywhere you want to be. The semi-final between Martina Navratilova, Zina Garrison. Navratilova serving 4-5 in the first. And this is where she really needs to serve a good service game because she was shaking her last service game. If she has a struggle in this one and serves another double or two, it can be a, have a terrible effect on her for the match. 30 love. So far effective. Two first serves. Now well, you have two players that are terrific athletes. Really move well. A real important ingredient in this game. Agility. And and Martina is so graceful. You know, you really you sort of lose sight of that sometimes, how well she moves and how graceful she is in the process. Five all, just like that. What a nice, clean service game after getting broken last time out. Watch this one again and see how quickly Martina gets on the short serve. See, she's only a couple steps behind the service line when she makes contact, gets a good angle, wins it outright. Got it. Two fine backhand returns. Zena had been going into Martina's forehand in the beginning of the of this match, and I think she was better off doing that. She'd be wise to come back. Martina's got such a great natural slice chip backhand return. I think mostly developed from her outstanding doubles play. And that's why it's so tough. Serving volley or like Zena to hit up on the first volley.
there you'll see her missing this backhand volley. It's normally a very reliable shot for her. Early in her career, all she did was slice backhand. She didn't know how to top the ball, and she finally added that to her arsenal a little later. Made her that much more effective. 30 all, 5 all. Again, Martina dictating the policy. She's putting on the pressure coming in all the time, and Zena's the one that has to try to make all the good shots. <laughs> Martina acting as if the serve wasn't good, it was a fault. shot just missed it wide so again break point for Martina irritated by shaving. After aftershave skin conditioner is clinically proven to soothe and relieve razor-scraped skin. Sensible care for sensitive skin after. By Menon. Subaru would like to apologize to the residents of Casa Grande, Arizona, where we drove the all-new Subaru Legacy at speeds averaging 138 miles per hour, 24 hours a day, for over 60,000 miles. That's about two and a half times around the world. Until we set a new world speed endurance record. If you're listening, Casa Grande, thank you. Nothing's rougher on a man's face than shaving. That's why there's Skin Bracer. It's more than an aftershave. It soothes, cools, tightens pores. Pat Summerall with Tony Trabert and Mary Carrillo. Women's semifinal, Martina Navratilova serving at 6-5 in the first set. Look at Garrison, look where she is. There's nobody in women's tennis that does that better than Martina. She has to stab as she does here for this backhand volley. She has more control over that ball. That wasn't an accident. She was trying to do that. Absolutely marvelous. Billie Jean King. And out helping Martina try to get the enthusiasm back.
from Garrison. She's swinging right to that 30. ball. Such conviction. I don't know what Martina had in mind here. She's trying to drop volley, but it was a half lob onto the service line. And the rest was pretty routine. Here, right here, it comes straight at her. That was the previous, or the last the shot, but one prior that came straight at her, and from a tough spot, she tried to drop volley. Great looking point. Martini's doing some ushering. Great looking point, that last one from Zena. Real gutsy. match until its completion then we'll be leaving for a half hour back to our local stations and then back for the men's doubles final and the other women's semifinal two break point chances for Garrison to take this into a tiebreaker the good racket preparation on this backhand the racket's back leans into it the weight on that front leg here's another look that was really solidly struck under difficult situation backhand it, it looks like a fountain the way she hits it so we're tiebreaker time now and Navratilova wins the first game with a tiebreaker 1-0 Navratilova First game, I should have said first point. Now she'll serve two points. Oh. Oh. One all. Number seven in the double fault department for Martina gives the mini break back. Martina, as fast as she is, realizes that she's not going to catch up to that one. All she could hope for that would go long, but it didn't. 2-1 Garrison. Navratilova wants to take this tie break from Garrison. She's got to be that aggressive for the rest of these points. Otherwise, Zena will be. Neither players want a point on serve in this tie break. Toss that time by Zena. Didn't get it into the court at all. Toss that ball forward if you can. It helps you. Hey. Oh Second serve. Another one. Martina should should step into the court a little bit too and try to try to scare Garrison. Look at her over in the alley now. Oh, oh boy. Boy. That is such Garrett. a clutch serve. Martina tried to, to scare Garrison with some extra positioning over there, shading off the court, and Garrison still found the mark, still got it over to Martina's backhand. They've got it right on the line. You really can't stay that far out of position. You've got to slide back once the toss goes up in the air. Three all. Three all, they'll change hands. 
We're in a tiebreaker first set. Women's semifinal at the USTA's National Tennis Center. 3-3 in the tiebreak. Bold wins this tiebreak. Garrison has been bolder in the last few games. Let's see whether Martina comes in behind this second serve. She chose not to in one of the other points she was serving. Perfect defensive lob that just carried long. Zena hoping this is going to go out. She don't want to have to smash from back there. And it was close. Clutch lobbing. 4-3. Garrison. Uh, looked like Garrison flagged one yep. there. Hit a ball that was going out. Watch oh. how high this ball is and was driven. That ball was definitely going over the baseline. Zena didn't do much with the volley and paid a big price. 4-4. Four, four. Stayed in. Martinez sets up nicely and went the other way with that forehand. Gets a 5-4. Martina took it, took the initiative. Zena just played slightly less aggressively. It's two set points now for Martina. First set, Navratilova. Here is a good crisp volley off a high return. Garrison was expecting it to go cross court. Martina went back the other way. Wrong footed her. And so Martina wins the first set in a tiebreaker. So I'm running late. I had to call Phoenix, so I'm using this other long distance company. I dialed the wrong number. I got this guy in the side. What? Is this Phoenix? No, you reached Fiji. I dial again. Fiji again. What are you so kidding? I called the operator for credit. She said I'd have to talk to customer billing. I said, AT&T operators gave me instant credit. She said, you are not dealing with AT&T. Well, I am now. People who thought they could do better than AT&T are coming back for the real value. Aren't you glad you never left? 200 years ago, the only way to see Sydney Harbor was from the deck of a prison ship. Today, you can relax in the back of a water taxi as you cruise to Watson's Bay and Doyle's on the beach, where you can feast on everything from Sydney rock oysters to Tasmanian trout. But if you go, come early and bring your Visa Gold card. Because at Doyle's, they don't run their water taxi all night, and they don't take American Express. Visa Gold, it's everywhere you want to be. Get ready for a major event. I'm the major. When I first met Polly, I thought, no way. You can stare at him some more at dinner. Major Dad. I think I'm ready for this detail. Premier September 18th. Get ready for Tim Reed and Daphne Maxwell Reed as one curious couple looking into murders and looking after each other. They're Snoops. Premieres Friday, September 22nd. Martina Navratilova won the first set over Zena Garrison in the semifinal. Really, I think on two points in that tie break, they, that when Zena played that out ball and ended up losing the point, and on the very next point, when Zena had a volley, didn't put away, and Martina came through. I think those two points cost Zena Garrison that first set. Pretty good record there. And Martina's won the first set. She's only lost four matches from that position. Six 
Zena thought she missed the volley. She thought the ball was out. And she was right on top of it, Zena. Yeah. She had a good look, that's for sure. There's another look. Looks good. It's tough to tell when the ball actually makes contact with the court. That looked like it was on the paint. Yep. 15 all. matches over the girls quarterfinals over in the grandstand to be able to blank 12 seed Kim Caceres in that second set it's you a remarkable it. thing for a 13 year old to do against much older peers more experience 14, 15. here in the stadium this match now an hour old Jennifer Delova up one set to Jennifer Capriotti in winning the girls 18 nationals would normally have gotten a wild card into the U.S. Open because that's what they that's what they allow the boys and girls winners. But she's too young to take right. it according to the Women's International Tennis Association. Still only 13 years old. You have to be at least 14. And they'd made that rule because they felt that people like Tracy Austin might have gotten hurt physically because she played too much too early. First game, second set goes to Martina Navratilova. She won the first set. Despite being wonderful companions, my subject group scored low in all coordination skills, showed poor organization, and no decision-making abilities. Unless I can bridge the gap between us, this project will be canceled. Thank you. Somewhere there's got to be a cure for athlete's foot. Step up to the mic. Mike? Mike it It cured my athlete's foot. It's got something the others don't. My conazole. There's nothing more powerful. <sighs> hey. I'm giving away advice, not Mike -a Say, what you got for my athlete's foot? Step up to the mic. Mike? Mycotin. It cures athlete's foot. There's even a deodorant Mycotin. Then I'll take the Mycotin to go. Step up to the cure. Step up to the mic. Mycotin. Look for new economy size powder. In this package is over 40 years of experience in overseas shipping. And access to more air routes worldwide. Because Flying Tigers has changed its stripes and merged with Federal Express to form the largest all-cargo airline in the world. Just a reminder that uh, coming up will be Gabriella Sabatini and Steffi Graf. And, of course, uh, the winner of that match plays a winner of the one underway right now. Martina Navratilova and Zena Garrison with Martina up one set. They're in the second set. We'll also show you the men's doubles final today. McEnroe and Woodford against Segusu and Flack. Now back to Pat, Tony, and Mary in the stadium court. Situation is that Martinez won the first set. Tie break. And has won the first game of the second set. Now she's serving. I beg your pardon. Garrison is serving. Martina seems to be measuring the passing shots better. She's not rushing like, like she, she sometimes does. Good racket preparation and smoothly driving through the ball. She's had a lot of success. Good ground strokes and the crisp volume. 
Martina has 22 winners. I think Zena thought her serve was out. She got inside the baseline and stopped, and when there was no call, she tried to come in and make a volley, but she was not in a very good spot at all. Harrison keeps her opponents honest, doesn't she? Martini hit a good volley, but it wasn't wasn't good, quite good enough. Make us earn it. Yep. And Garrison is sending the message to, that says you you got to do much better than that. Because I can track down even you know a, a nice a solid crisp volley can still come back against Garrison. Well, that's where that. Losing the 10 pounds that Zena lost has to help her. She makes her quicker about the court and lets her be stronger, last longer. She knows she can run as much as she has to in this match and not worry about conserving energy. shot that, that Martina mishits sometimes uh, trying to rush it beforehand but that she really measured very nice it didn't over swing at the ball Billie Jean King had said of Martina earlier in the year when she first started working with her as we have a look at this Billy said Martina had been thinking about her opponents instead of thinking about her tennis. Right now, she's just thinking about her tennis, which is what she should do. This, this big revenge match against Zena was working on her mind too much. There's Billy. This is break point right here. Game Martina gets the two love lead. Two love. In the second set after winning the first set. The women's draw. The quarterfinals on. It'll be Graf and Sabatini later on this afternoon to see who faces the winner of this one. Right now, Navratilova in command. I really feel a much different second set would be played from Martina had she lost it. But now, she's swinging freely. That's good. From Garrison. 30-15. Yeah, she's tough to kick loose, isn't she, Garrison? Well, she's tough. She's a good player and very tenacious, more experienced 
than she was last year, obviously. So I don't think the moment is getting her as it did last year. intelligent lobbing from Garrison helped her win that point. Took Martina off the net. And with that, Navratilova lost control of the point. had melted on Tuesday instead of Thursday. Suppose Jupiter had never aligned with Mars. There may never have been a place called Vergès or a spring called Perrier. But luckily, everything happened just right. It's perfect. It's Perrier. Thousands of years ago, the world was introduced to a vehicle that could hold plenty of cargo and travel in some of the worst weather. This year, history repeats itself. The new four-wheel drive Subaru Legacy Wagon. After thousands of years, man still can't improve the weather. Only the way he travels through it. See your Subaru dealer for details on the Special Value Lease Program. Want to play? The USTA Volvo Tennis League is the answer. It's the adult tennis league in the country, matching players of similar ability and experience on local teams. And every team is competing for a national championship. The tennis is fun, and the friendships developed are even better. Write the USTA for information, and start enjoying tennis more than ever. Back at the stadium, women's semifinal between Zena Garrison on your left and Martina Navratilova on the right side. She leads three love in the second set and Navratilova won the first set. Nicely done. That defensive lob goes up in the air. You prepare, get well behind the ball, let it bounce and slide into it. Get a lot of, a lot of pace on your smash. You can also see where your opponent's gone before you have to hit it.
This is pretty good stuff. Martino way off the back the baseline and just rips this shot, draws the error from Garrison. Again, I think she's she's really loosened up her shoulder so much more in this second set. Yeah, this is a danger area for Zena. Doesn't want to get down two breaks. A solid point right there. Good all. serve, good volley. 30 all. was vital to Garrison to keep her in this match. Had she lost there, he couldn't like her chances at all. Phenomenal record at the Open by Martina Navratilova. Four times the champion, twice a runner-up. And in those two runners-up, she lost in a tiebreak in the third set in those two finals. <laughs> pretty, pretty close. Every year, Wilson Sporting Goods and the Intercollegiate it's Tennis Coaches Association select coaches of the year. This year, uh, Kent DeMar is the men's tennis coach at the University of South Carolina, and Andy Brandy, the women's tennis coach at the University of Florida, win those awards. I want to congratulate them. They do a terrific job in intercollegiate tennis, and it's nice that they are acknowledged. intelligent attempt in my opinion by Martina drive that ball back deep get your opponent behind the baseline as quick as she is at the net say go ahead and try to pass me Garrison was going to get there anyway <laughs> from overhead the Fuji blimp piloted today by Captain Trevor Hunt beautiful day be smooth, smooth sailing up there. Expensive points for Zena Garrison. Here's a chance for Martini to go up 4-1. to the car. The car is connected to an engine, a suspension system. The car fits in the road, which fits in the landscape. And when all of this, the will of the driver, the ability of the car. We're all with Tony Trabert and Mary Carrillo, who's about to head down to courtside to interview the winner of the match, which would appear right now, Unless there is a drastic change, will be Martina Navratilova. And don't count Zena out. She's just down one service break. Serving at 1-4. She's saying, I got to hold, get one break, hold, and I'm back even.
gives you a chance to make your decision, time to make a decision which way you want to go with a passing shot. You didn't see Martina after she made that attempt at passing shot, but she motioned to herself, hit the ball up in the air, throw up that high lob. You're not going to beat somebody way behind the baseline like that. Four two, the women's semifinal at the National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadow, New York. Everett Taloba won the first set. I think Zena's going to try to climb all over Martinez serve in this game. Well, I'd, I'd like to see her be a little more aggressive with the return. Uh, she's been spending a lot of time just trying to get the ball down, and when it sits up at all, Martina closes on. I see her gamble a little bit more. forehand volleys, not backhand volleys. Two good serves though by Martina. Again, not the reminder, attackable kind. Excuse me, Mary. Again, a reminder that at the completion of this match, we'll be going back to our local stations for a half hour, and then we'll come back here to the National Tennis Center for the men's doubles final and the other women's semifinal. Sabatini against Graf. Four two in the second set. Back in the stadium, Garrison in real trouble now, serving at two five. Second set. Love the team. We've seen very few backcourt rallies because, as I mentioned earlier, both these players want to get into the net. And to this point, Martina's done it more successfully than Zena has. Love 30. Willard Jackson, who is Zena's fiance, feeling the pressure. Oh, this is tough now because Martino will probably try to come in off the second serve, put some more pressure on. And it's three match points for the number two seated Nervatilova. Steffi Graf seated number one and she'll play later this afternoon they've been out there an hour and 26 minutes martina to this point had been finishing her matches an average of about 47 minutes Six minutes it took. Martina Navratilova is in the final. Here is match point. That cord. Zena did a good job to get it back. Didn't know which way to cover. She retreated a little bit. Martina got it down the line as she was passing the net post. Watch the good run here. Racket preparation. Directs it down the line. And when Zena looks up, she says, how'd you get way over here? Let's 
So now let's go to Tim Ryan. Well, thank you, Pat. We've only just begun on this championship weekend at the U.S. Open. Uh, of course, upcoming and uh, after a half-hour break and uh, some word from your local stations, we'll come back to see the men's doubles championship, John McEnroe. A disappointment in singles, but a surprise in doubles.